So, you were tapping a piece of material and realized the tap was going to bottom out. Thinking fast, you managed to save your tap and workpiece. That's all well and good, but what's next? Simple. Time for some tap recovery. Let's do this. Welcome to Know Your Deuce On. Today's topic, how to use the tap or track button. So let's get started. Let's say you're tapping a piece of material and realize the tap will bottom out into your workpiece. You hit the e-stop to save your tap and your workpiece. Awesome. But now what? There's a tap stuck in your material and the machine is stopped. Not to worry, you're actually in a good spot. All it takes is three easy steps to get your machine back up and running. And make sure you high five yourself because the part is saved and your tap is still in one piece. Step one, do not turn the power off. I can't stress this enough. If you turn the power off to the machine, the synchronization between your spindle and the Z-axis feed is completely lost. That tap retract button will no longer be of any use to us, so don't turn the power off. Step two, release the e-stop and press the green machine ready button. This restores your power and operation to the machine. Step three, make sure the machine is in jog mode. You'll notice that the tapping or track button is flashing. The machine knows that it was in a tapping cycle when you press the e-stop. Now just press the flashing tap or track button and the spindle and z-axis will retract and save your workpiece and save that tap. Done and done. Your machine is now back in a normal state and it's ready for any corrections or remachining. Dusan recommends checking your tap for any damage and also checking your workpiece. Hopefully this video got you back up and running. If you have a question about your Dusan machine that you'd like to see me cover in a future video, shout it out in the comments. Thanks for watching and thanks for machining with Dusan.